Hello, my friend. How are you? Fine? No. I hope you are fine. <coughs> oh, got to clap. Okay, so I hope you are fine and doing well. First of all, happy Halloween to all of you in advance. Wishing you a fun and spooky Halloween filled with lots of yummy treats. I was extremely busy lately with some personal matters at home and didn't post it even a single video for you guys. But now I'm back with a huge amount of motivation and some new goals for upcoming months. And I'm gonna start posting again on weekly basis. Secondly, I record a complete bonus tutorial for you guys on this spooky Halloween mask. And I will add it and post the video tomorrow. Anyways, today I'm gonna show you a simple and easiest method to draw a spooky Halloween pumpkin. It's a step-by-step -step video, so grab your pencils and let's get started. So as always, I'm gonna use these three types of shades for this drawing. A darker grade pencil such as 9B, 8B or 7B. A medium grade pencil such as 5B, 4B or 3B. And a lighter grade pencil such as B or HB. I already drew this rough outline using a P pencil. And I always draw these rough outlines using grid method or freehand in this case. I have uploaded both the reference image and grid reference on my website. Link is in the description as always. And now I'm gonna darken this outline with a sharp tip P pencil. And now I'm going to use the same B pencil to fill the whole outline with a lighter base shade. Make sure the strokes are closer to each other and don't press too hard against the paper. We need a smooth and texture free shade as a base for this sketch. Okay, as we are done with this base shading, let's grab a dry brush and blend the shade slowly and smoothly. By the way, it's a soft synthetic watercolor brush of size 1 by 2. You can use whatever size you have, but make sure to blend the shade smoothly.
and here you go. Now I'm gonna use this 3B pencil to add some darker shades on the pumpkin. I'm gonna add some darker shades in and around the grooves to make it a little bit more three-dimensional. You can download and follow the reference image if you want. As the light source is on top front, so we're gonna shade according to that. First of all, you have to add some darker shades on this left side groove. Starting from a darker tone and moving towards a lighter one. Same procedure for the second groove. You can also add some random lines between each groove to make it look more realistic. Repeat the same process on the other side but make sure the direction of the shade is opposite to the left side. Now adding some shades on the lower side using the same 3B pencil. Now 
Now take a dry brush and blend these shades smoothly. Do it slowly and smoothly or you will mess up the shades. Now take your 9B or whatever darkest shade you have and fill the inside of the pumpkin. Again do it slowly and precisely. This white portion in this dark shade is the reflection of the light above my head so don't worry about it. Now take your 3B pencil and add some darker shades on this inner portion of the pumpkin. Inner shade will be darker than the outside and corners will be more darker as you can see here. Blend the shade with a smaller size brush. Repeat the same process on the other side. Moving on to the lower portion. You just have to change the direction of the shade for each portion to make it look three dimensional or you can say more realistic.
blending the shade with a dry brush. Now moving on to the final and most important part which is adding the highlights. I am going to use this Tombow Mono Zero Eraser for this purpose. If you don't have this mono zero razor, you can cut out a sharp piece of razor and use it for this purpose. Or you can make a replica of mono zero razor at home. You can find the video in the cards. But in this video, I'm gonna keep using this mono zero razor because it's easier to hold and you can use it like a white pencil. By the way, you can also use a white pencil if you have one. I'm gonna keep adding some highlights near the edges and grooves. Again do it slowly and precisely or you will mess up the shades. I'm gonna keep the video speed slow for this portion so you can follow along and use it as a reference for highlights.
Okay, so we are done with the highlights. Let's grab a 9B pencil and shade the stem. Just add some spiral texture, a darker shade on the lower part and a lighter shade on the upper part and you are good to go. You can also add some shadow below the pumpkin using a 3B pencil. Add a darker shade near the base and a lighter shade around it. Now blend the shade with a dry brush. And here you go. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to share your results with me on my Instagram and share this video with your friends. You can also support me on Patreon and win some exciting rewards in return. And if you have any suggestions on a tutorial, make sure to drop it in the comment section and I will soon make a video on that. So thank you so much for watching, keep learning, keep trying and have a nice day.